What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions and functions, and we're going to talk about the skip function in the collection expressions. So what is skip? No, it's not a thing where you have a rope and you jump over it, it's actually a function in Power Automate. Now that I've got the bad joke out of the way, I'm going to continue. So skip is a lot like take, uh, which we covered last time. So skip allows you to um, put in a string or an array um, and give it a count. And then the count that you give it, it will skip over the first few and then return the rest of the string or the array. So whereas take allows you to take everything from the first bit of it to the uh, count, skip allows you to do the opposite where it, it skips the first bit and then counts after that. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate, I've got my manual trigger flow here with my text input and then I've got a compose box underneath. If I click into the compose box and go over to expression, I can expand the see more in the collections and I can go down to skip. So uh, we see we've got two parameters here. So um, unlike where it says take, uh, where it said value, that really should say collection. So skip uh, lets you put in a collection and then returns, uh, and then actually for count, and then it'll, it'll run from the start of that to the count and then return everything after that. So if we click skip, we're gonna switch over to dy dynamic content and use the input here. We're then going to put a comma in, and I'm going to choose five as the number. So what this is going to do is this is going to uh, run through the text input that I've got. Once it hits the fifth character, it'll then return everything after that character. So if I click OK, that'll go into the Compose box there. We'll click on Test. I'll perform the trigger action, and we'll say Hello, comma. My name is Matt. Nice to meet you. Uh, we'll run the flow. Click done. Uh, it's run successfully. And here we can see that it's picked up um, up to hello is five characters. So it's picked up the comma and then everything after that. So that's why this is the opposite of this is the opposite of take, where take uh, goes from the first character to have a menu you count from. This goes from wherever you start the count from. Um, it'll take everything um, to the right of that essentially. So um, what you're what you're asking for is um, to skip over the first you know however many characters and then start from that point and then continue onwards. But this also works for arrays. So let's take a look at an array. We'll click over to our array uh, flow here. Again, another manual trigger input uh, flow. And the first, or the second step here is initialize a variable. So we've got a variable which is an array here called list, and this has four values. So Dean Herb, Keith Taylor, Frank Bruno, and Matt Collins Jones. Hey, that's me. So what we will do is we will click into Compose. We'll go over to Expressions. Again, we will go down. We will expand the see more, and we will click on Skip. Then I switch back to Dynamic Content. We are going to put the uh, variable list that we had in the first step. We're going to put a comma in, and then we're going to put the number three. So what this will do is this will skip over the first two objects in that array and then it will return the rest of the values to us. So we'll click OK. Then we can see update in the compose action. We'll choose test. I'll perform the test. Run the flow. Click done. It's run successfully. That's great. Come down here and we can see it's just returning the Matt Collins Jones. So what that has actually done is that stipped over the first three values. So it doesn't include the third value and that's an important thing to note. It's going to skip over however many values you put in and return everything else. So the same as when we did it with the string where we typed hello and chose number five, it, it ignored 
all of the all the characters in hello, which is that's five letters, and then returned everything after that, so the comma and the rest of it. Similarly, this skips over all the objects in the array and just returns the last one because we chose three, and the array's only got four. So I hope this video was really helpful to you. I hope this function is really helpful to you. If this video was helpful, please like it, please share it with your friends. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, you can find me on the social media, that's on the last slide in the video. And I hope to see you next time.